In a sense, um, Taji Mustafa, I mean, this is a CIA war. Um, the CIA run this rather than the US military. I mean, that's rather odd, isn't it? Well, because the rules for the CIA are much more loose. They're able to, the accountability is less, and where they can operate, they have a broader remit and a freer hand to prosecute this. Um, I think we shouldn't lose sight of one fact that this drones, which effectively are an attack on another country, a sovereign territory, killing its citizens, can only take place with the collusion and help of the government in Yemen, in the case of Yemen, or the government in Pakistan. Drones have to take off from a base, they have to be refueled, they have to be maintained, they don't all come across the border from Afghanistan. So really, each time I hear of a drone attack killing civilians in Pakistan, the Pakistani government, Kayani, Zardari, Jilani, these guys have blood on their hands because they directly are helping to murder the Muslims in Pakistan. And the fundamental job of any government is to protect its citizens. Islam is so strong on this issue, you know, the Prophet peace be upon him, said that, you know, the blood of a Muslim is worth more than the Kaaba, which Muslims, you know, we look to the Kaaba, we pray to the Kaaba, we fa pray facing it every day. So the job of a government is to defend its people, and these governments have blood on their hands. So really, until they are removed, this, this collusion continues, and this needs to be put an end to by frankly changing these governments and the systems that they represent, and having a government that will defend its people, that will listen only to look after its affairs of the people, care for them, and that would be, you know, an Islamic... Uh, government, a caliphate, which is what is needed to put an end to, to this collusion.